If the ductwork to vent exhaust from an over-the-range microwave is poorly designed, it may not work properly. Use the International Residential Code and the manufacturer's instructions for a good design. I recently replaced an old microwave. The existing ductwork starts with a custom transition adapter that connects the rectangular three and a quarter by 10 inch fan outlet on the microwave to an aluminum semi-rigid flexible six inch duct. The flexible duct makes a 90 degree turn and goes about seven feet to another transition adapter and then to another damper and wall cap grill combo. Let's see how my ductwork installed in 1990 compares with the current code and new microwave's installation instructions. The code says that the exhaust must be discarded to the outdoors. The wall cap must be at least three feet from property lines, gravity air intake openings, and operable windows and doors, and not less than 10 feet from mechanical air intake openings. Unless it is above the intake, then it can be three feet away. The microwave's duct can't be shared with another exhaust system. The duct work must be smooth on the inside, airtight, and have a backdraft damper. The code repeats that the exhaust must go outdoors. The exceptions to venting outdoors is to set up the microwave to recirculate through a filter. The duct work must be galvanized steel, stainless steel, or copper. The round six inch aluminum flex does not comply with the current code adopted by my state. If the microwave's fan is greater than 400 CFM, makeup air is required. 100 CFM and 25 continuous CFM is the minimum for kitchens. There is a table in the code for duct length. However, there is an exception for using the manufacturer's design instead. The manufacturer's requirements are much easier to meet than the table in the code. Let's look at my existing installation to see if it meets the manufacturer's requirements for my new microwave oven. I can use either six inch round duct or three and a quarter by 10 inch rectangular duct. The equivalent duct length cannot exceed 140 feet. The worksheet implies that flexible duct is not permitted. I have a wall cap. Behind the wall cap is a damper and rectangular to round transition. There's about seven feet of non-smooth round six inch metal duct. It has one 90 degree bend and one more transition. I couldn't find any conversion for semi-rigid duct to smooth wall duct. I tripled the length for those pieces for this calculation and have an estimate of 101 feet. Joints, seams, and connections must be securely fastened and sealed. Metallic ductwork can be sealed with UL181B-FX tape or UL181BM mastic. Oval crimp joints need at least one inch of lap. Lap the joints in the direction of the airflow. It's difficult to notice in this picture, the bottom of the vent damper combo is slanted downwards. If rain were to blow into the vent, the water will drain to the outside. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.